What? Does that G look like what is it? Does that G thought? Mm. Is it enough? Does that G Does it have to be exactly like that? That looks like a B. What? It looks like a B. No, it's not. Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that look, that's good. Max is practicing his, practicing his spelling right now. Mm -hmm. Doing pretty good, huh? You know, da Daddy was the spelling bee champion in fifth and sixth grade. Hello. Guess I'm the only one that cares. Yeah. There's a cursive. You're doing good, dude. You're a good speller. Uh, Look at all these great coupons. That's a cursive T. I think this is a cursive I. A free BLT cheeseburger, and all I have to do is buy a pop? Look at all these and coupons, Mia. This, this, is, the, this is the way to go. What? You still talking? No. I stopped oh, listening to you when you said, Goo Goo Gaga. Hey, I did not say that. You better not write on my coupons. These are co my coupons over here, and I'm going to use them. I'm going to use all of these, too, because these, these are some good deals. Got a free original sandwich. Daddy. A free Whopper Jr. with the purchase of another yeah. Whopper. Free cinnamon roll. Daddy's scoring big time. Well, that was a dollar off a of cinnamon roll. Daddy, What's these up, are all the cursive writing. What's that letter? Uh, this? Uh-huh. That's a D. Mm -hmm. That's a A. A T. What's that? I. And that's an H. An I and an H? Mm -hmm. Those are all the cursive ones. Oh, yeah. I you're learned. in third grade. You guys are learning cursive now, huh? Yeah, but I haven't learned I. I? I just know how to draw it. This is an I right here. Right there. No, not that kind of I. There's an I. Like an I like this. Or an I like this. How about an I like this? No. Son. Me, uh, want to see Mia? <laughs> <laughs> This is a, a good YouTube channel right here. This is ES News. Check it out. All he talks about is uh, if you're a boxing fan, this is a good one. I watch all the videos. Well, gotta take the kids back again. Gonna go meet their mom at State Line. And uh, tomorrow's Halloween. Alright you guys, so we're almost there. We're gonna meet the kids mom at State Line again. See if she's there right now. It's out of traffic right now. And your mom's not here yet. Well, I am headed back home again, taking the back roads. Max and Mia are headed back home to Oregon again. It's about, it's almost 7 p.m. So, gonna head home. Hopefully I'll be in bed by 8 o'clock. Probably not, probably closer to between 9 and 10. Cause I gotta be up at 3.30 in the morning. But I'll see you at home. Alright, I am home. Max and Mia went home. Uh, they live in Oregon, so I came back home to Washington. Uh, tomorrow is Halloween. How time has flown by. Um, I got the kids. I was supposed to take the kids trick or treating uh, to downtown. So, I got this one for Mia. That one's for Max. So, we'll go trick or treating downtown. Hopefully, Mia was very sick. She was starting to get a really high fever right now. Um, and then she started throwing up, just non-stop throwing up. I'm hoping that 
she can get enough rest tonight. She might not go to school tomorrow, so hopefully she'll be rested up and she'll go trick-or-treating. She's been really excited about it. I did buy them their costumes this, uh, when did I buy them? On Tuesday, I think it was. No, Monday. Monday I was able to buy their costumes for them in the Tri-Cities, so, uh, they were pretty excited about that. So hopefully she feels better tomorrow and she'll be able to join us trick-or-treating. If not, then, you know, she needs to get better and, uh, Luckily, she's still young, where she probably won't remember. But um, hopefully, hopefully she'll feel better tomorrow, so she can go in and enjoy Halloween. So uh, I'll show you their costumes uh, tomorrow. I'm not gonna say what the what they're gonna be, but uh, they're they they're pretty excited about their costumes. So that's a good thing. But anyway, uh, got home. It's about 7:30 right now. I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening. Gonna take it easy. Uh, looking forward to Halloween tomorrow. And I actually took the next day after Halloween off, Friday, um, just to relax and take it easy. And you know what? It's almost the end of the year, and I haven't really, really taken that much time off from work, so I decided to take Friday off and just kick back and enjoy it. I took it off over a month ago. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for tomorrow. It's Halloween. Going to be an exciting day, an exciting time. Going to take you downtown, do some trick or treating, show you what that's all about. And uh, stay tuned for those videos. We've got a lot, a lot of good things coming up tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Enjoy your Halloween and be safe tomorrow. Bye.